Hi, Randy K7AGE with another video of Ham Nation Viewer Projects. Let's get going. Eric AC9BX built himself a breakout box to use with his Flex 1500. So this plugs into the back of the radio using a DB9 connector. And then uh, Eric had a little die cast box that he mounted uh, some RCA jacks in there. So he has audio in, audio out, push to talk in and push to talk out, and a trim pot for audio level. He even has a couple spare wires if he ever wants to implement a I squared C connection to the radio. So nice little breakout box. Bill G4GHB has been working on and gotten it to work. This 75-year-old British wireless set number 19 Mark III. He's got it working again. He had to rewire a couple coils, replace a switch, reconnect up the BFO, and replace three leaky capacitors. He's added an extra inductor and a capacitor to give the receiver more sensitivity, and he's added a crystal socket down on the bottom right for the transmitter. He's actually gotten it to work on 5.262 megahertz, running about uh, three to four watts, and he's had uh, a QSO to another station 80 miles away. As he says, as it's Teddy, I don't mind modifying it. It'll never be a museum showpiece, but it is a working radio. And then he asks, will the modern stuff be repairable after 75 years? Well done, Bill. Jason KC1GNO has built himself a field portable 40 meter QRP transceiver. The project was inspired by finding a wood box that was on a clearance sale, and he thought that would make a fine looking radio. So it's built around the TunaCan receiver and transmitter kits, and he's added some other things, an audio amplifier and a keyer to it, and uh, he's uh, scrounged up some switches and knobs to go on the front control panel. He picked up a Brunel key, and he cleaned that up. He's gotten it all to work, and it puts out about a half a watt, he says, but it pulls in lots of signals. So that's a real nice-looking uh, QRP transceiver there, Jason. Thank you. Tom... N5KGN is passing along this old power supply project. This was built by a guy, a friend of his, back in the Navy while he was on an aircraft carrier and uh, gave it to him a long time ago. And Tom has uh, pulled it out and started to restore it because he kind of working on some old tube projects. And uh, it's gone through this and replaced the line cord and the power switch and the fuse holder and all sorts of other things and cleaned up the chassis. And luckily, the critters didn't chew up too much of the wiring. But what I think is really interesting on this is that the uh, Navy chief, when he built this on the aircraft carrier, um, they had been doing some... Um, some practicing with their uh, three and five inch guns. So what he did was uh, gather up a couple of the uh, three and five inch uh, shells and had the guys in the shop uh, flatten them out and take the ends off and uh, bend them up and punch them and made them into the chassis that you see here. So, <laughs> And Tom has gone through with some polish and stuff and kind of cleaned it up. So here's a power supply built from some old shells. Kind of neat. Thanks for passing that along, Tom. Rich K9WWW has passed along this hex beam project that he's been working on. He moved into a new house this past summer and was wondering how he's going to deal with his antenna. So he has a um, SP7IDX hex beam and he decided on building a roof tower so he built this uh, roof tower from some plans from Roger, W8IO. So it's going to hold the hex beam and a Diamond X50 antenna on the top. When he got it all assembled on the ground, he checked out the SWR and it looked really good. So he was ready to put it up on the roof. So he attached the uh, uh, roof tower uh, with some bolts in going through uh, some 2x4 backing in the attic and had the whole assembly tilted over. And then his son and wife helped push and he pulled. And he said it wasn't too much of a pucker moment when that whole assembly tilted up on the roof there. So, And then he's been busy um, working on getting the cables through the roof and down into the basement shack. So um, good project, Rich. Nice antenna. 
And if you have a project you'd like to share with the Ham Nation viewers, please send some photos and a description to me at hamprojects at twit.tv and we'll get you on Ham Nation. 73, this is Randy, K7AGE.